Right, hello everyone. So today is a sad day. Last night, while doing some photographs of my drone, I crashed it. Look at here. Just flapping away. Um, that's broke. That can't go in the air. Um, gutted. Is the word, but luckily I've got back up. So, the very first drone I bought, the Mavic Mini. First generation Mavic Mini. Um, so that's going to be going up in the air. Um, doesn't do anything, just flies and records, that's it. No zoom, no nothing on it. It's just the very first basic Mavic Mini that I've had for years. I don't even know if this bag of ice can still fly, but we'll see. Um, yeah, gutted about this. Absolutely gutted. I'm getting it fixed, but it's going, it's going to take a couple of weeks to get fixed, so I'm going to have to... I've had to order a new drone. and um, Yeah. The new drone, it's better than this, they say. But if you look at the, 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 the camera on this, let me turn it around. Look at that camera. It's a dual camera, so it's only got two cameras. So when you're switching from camera to camera, it um, it only does one jump. The, the drone we're getting tomorrow has got three cameras, so it jumps three times, which... Okay, the third camera will give you a little bit more clarity in the picture, but I don't like that, that jumping it does, which I'll explain tomorrow when I record tomorrow. So, yeah, I'm at Anfield. Um, Loads going on, so this fella's just arrived here with like what looks like a generator with lights on. See him just there. Um, over there is where all the them little officers were. Just been talking to security there. There will be a merchandise um, stall just by them green office office things. Okay, so look out the merchandise stall there. Um, what else? Yeah, it's, it's, it's like a staging area as well, he said, uh, for kids who get lost or people who just need some information of where to go. You know, you, you can't miss the ground, can you? So it's just there. But yeah, that's what that's for. Um, right, I'm going to get the drone in the air now. See if it does fly. Wish me luck. Right, so this does fly. But it's not great. I just want to get over the ground and see if anything's happening. We'll see what is happening. Just want to get something. This has got to be the worst drone ever now. And there's the stage coming into view. Right there it is there. People are on it, I don't know who they are. But yeah, this isn't going to stay in the air along this drone. <laughs> it's the worst drone in the world now, this. It's losing signal terribly. Right, the drone's returning to home. I can see it in the air. Right, I've got control of it again. It's a nightmare, this. Let's go as high as I can. So I'll be back in the morning with me, with me brand new drone. As a... Um, this is awful. Right guys, gonna bring it back. I'm 
ball. It looks really good. Just got as um, a crash with the drone on this uh, final leg of what's going on. But yeah, there's the there's the there's the stage. The stage looks great. It's all raised, and it's good to go for tomorrow. I'll be back in the morning to get better footage of um, the stage and that. Just because I zoomed in, seeing who was on the stage. But yeah, never mind. Right, so I hope you enjoyed whatever that was. That was terrible to fly. That was like, I don't know, just the worst zone ever to fly. Uh, that, that'll never see the sky again, that. It was a... Uh, no. It wasn't safe to fly, to be fair. Good job, it's only a small drone. Um, security, where are you? Um, police behind me, walking up there. You can see them, I don't know if you can see them. Yeah, police there. Um, security, I've heard all in the park. Question me. Every time I get something out, they question me. So, it's good. I'm good, I'm glad they're doing that. Um, that stage is set up now, as you can see. <laughs> Whatever you can see on the footage. Um, I, I need to have a look back at it. But yeah, we're there. Uh, I'll be back in the morning with the new zone. Whew, that was hard work, that. Um, yeah, the reason why I crashed me with the zone was um, I'm into my photography. I like pushing the boundaries of photography. I pushed it a little, little bit too far last night, um, literally. So I'll put some photos on the screen anyway while I'm talking. I, I like taking um, long exposure photographs. So going out, going out at night and using whatever light is available, say be you know, headlights of cars, brake lights of cars, um, buses going past, anything that 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 can make a light stick. I like I like doing. So I thought there's something called intentional camera movement where photographers take pictures and move the camera on a long exposure, and it it, it gives this like a nice dreamy effect. But no, I've never seen anyone do it with the drone. So I thought, can I do this with the drone? So the drone I've got, you can, it's, it's got variable ap aperture and shutter speed and ISO, so you can change everything, you can change all your settings. So I set it to long exposure. And I've done some flying rounds and, and experimented with some photographs, and some turned out well, which are on the screen now. Um, but the Beatles statue in town was just a, a little bit too much. So I got it right up to the Beatles statue, pulled it back, and then press the shutter to take the photograph so, so you get that blurred motion. I flew it back towards the Beatles statue and I wanted to get, get as close as I could but the propellers caught it, spun it round, smacked the rear arm and broke the rear arm when it hit the floor. So that's what's happened with that drone. Um, it, it wasn't reckless flying, I was standing right by it, I was trying to edge it forward but I just, I'd been too cocky and just got a little bit too far forward and I paid the price for it, you know. It's a two grand drone, just, you know, in pieces in my bag now. But hopefully I can get that fixed. I've got another one on order, so I'll, I'll have two then. Um, yeah, so I, I, I hope you like the photos I done. <laughs> I don't know if it was worth it in the end, but it was, it was for me, uh, me, me final uni project and it, it's all submitted now, so I've just got to wait for my uh, results from uni. And then find out how to get me the degree or not. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching the video. If you do like it, please subscribe. It, you know, it means a lot to me. All, all the Swifties, you know, get, I'm getting loads of support from Canada, America, um, all over the world, all over the country, all over my country. Yeah, I really appreciate it. People that are coming, people that's just like Taylor Swift. Loads coming. I really appreciate it. I really do. Um, so subscribe to the channel if you like it. There's loads, loads of different stuff coming up. What else? Yeah, give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And I know I keep saying I really appreciate it, but I really, really appreciate it. And apart from that, I'll speak to you all soon. Look after yourselves. Bye now.